So I designed this website yesterday. Looks great, right? But now let me just see it in a mobile view. As you can see, all the buttons have moved and the entire design looks broken. If you're also looking to fix this, let me teach you how you can fix this step by step. First, let's create global button settings. This is a must if you want your buttons to look consistent everywhere. Here's what you do. Go to your WordPress dashboard, click on appearance and then select customize. I'm using the Astra theme, so my setup might look a bit different from yours, but you'll find similar options no matter your theme. From here, go to global, then buttons. Now in the button section, you can either choose a preset design or customize everything. Background color, text color, padding, border, radius, hover effects, and more. I'll tweak a few of these to show you how it works. First, select the preset for the button, then scroll down and set the background color to this. Now go here and set blue color for the hover effect. After that, adjust the padding, let's say 20 pixels for the top and bottom and 30 pixels for the left and right. Finally, go to border radius and set it to 40 pixels for a nice curved borders. Once I'm happy with the design, I'll click publish and save my settings. All right, let's test it out. I'll add a button to a page and look at that. It automatically adapts the global styles I just created. No need to design every button from scratch. This saves so much time and ensures a consistent design across your entire site. Now, let me show you the difference between button sizing options and why it matters. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because Okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Now, let me show you the difference between button sizing options and why it matters. I'll compare two units, EM and PX. First up is EM, which is relative unit. This means it scales based on the font size of the button making it super responsive. Here's how I set it up. I go to the typography section and set the font size to REM. Then in the padding section, I use EM because both the font size and padding use relative units. The button automatically adjusts its size while keeping everything proportional. It looks great on any screen size. Now let's switch and use pixels. This is an absolute unit which means that the size stays fixed no matter what. But the problem with pixels is that when you view the button on smaller screens, like a mobile device, it doesn't scale down proportionally. It can end up looking clunky and even out of place. For better clarity, let me compare them side by side for you. Watch this. When I increase the sizes, this pixel button starts to look stretched and unbalanced. Meanwhile, the EM button stays perfectly proportional. That is why I always recommend using relative units like EM or REM for buttons. Let's take this a step further. For comparison, I'll add four buttons with different parameters like this. Then I'll select the respective parameters from the left side. For example, I'll choose EM for the EM button, PX for the PX button and so on. Now, the moment of truth. I'll switch to mobile view and ta-da! The EM button automatically adapts to both mobile and desktop screens while PX remains constant regardless of screen size. To be honest, the VW button didn't perform well. It completely missed the mark. On the other hand, person stays constant too. By the way, for more clarity, I made an in-depth video on these parameters. Check it out, I've left the link in the description. Here's the bottom line. Using relative units like REM and EM is the best way to ensure your buttons stay responsive and look amazing on all devices. Fixed units like pixels just don't cut it when it comes to flexibility and responsiveness. So remember these pointers before you design your next website and comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.